How's it going, everybody? How are you feeling tonight? Feeling good? Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I'm Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, things aren't going too well for me in my career right now, so... No, I, uh, it is good to be here. It's a beautiful theater here, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a great show. Uh, I, was, uh, I was on an airplane recently, and I wanted to take a Xanax to relax, but I took an Adderall by accident. The, uh, the flight attendant asked me if I needed anything. I was like, yeah, I'll take the SAT. Do you have that? <laughs> Throw me a topic. I'll write a paper. I'm wired. Can I meet the pilot? I've actually never taken Xanax or Adderall, um, but I do get stressed out, and there's a lot of horrible advice out there. One of the worst pieces of advice I've ever seen was, hey, if you're ever stressed, just ask yourself, will this matter in five years? Yes. <laughs> that, when I'm going to sleep at night, I almost exclusively think about things that happened five years ago, so it's like, it's, it's terrible advice. I was, uh, I was in a coffee shop recently because I like to write in coffee shops and uh, drink coffee, I guess. But I was in there and there was a, there was a woman who was on her laptop and she was uh, in a phone call uh, with the speakers on. And I was listening closely and I realized it was therapy. She was in a therapy session. I was like, you don't need therapy. You already don't give a fuck. <laughs> Put that in a pill form, give it to everybody. That's excellent. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I did this thing today. It's called uh, Chilbies. If you're unfamiliar, that's where you eat a full sit-down meal at a Chili's and then take a shit at an Applebee's right afterwards. <laughs> that's white culture, everybody. You eat at one fast casual restaurant and then you're on the road and you're like, I gotta take a shit. There's a Chili's right there. There we go. <laughs> I gotta do it. Um, I bought a mattress recently, not to brag, and um, the mattress was horrible, and so I tried to return it, and the, it was just a back and forth with the mattress store. Couldn't return it, so they said, hey, we wanna help you out, so we're gonna have a guy come and check out your mattress and get his expert opinion. <laughs> it's a true story, that really happened. So a, a 230 pound dude named Shannon came to my house True story, and rolled around in my mattress. <laughs> How do you get that job? As a mattress tester. <laughs> what do you put on your resume? Lifelong dreamer. <laughs> Dad, sleeping on the job, I don't know. Um, I'm a big fan of the Irish goodbye where, uh, you know, you just leave. It's great, right? Why, people should normalize the Irish goodbye. It's great. Just, you just leave. No one ever talks about the Irish entrance, though. That's where you show up hammered and you just punch someone right in the face. Is that my cousin? I can hit him. A lot of, um... A lot of things are getting outsourced. Like if you call customer service, a lot of times it's outsourced to a different company, uh, country like India. And I have no problem with that. But I was thinking like, how far are we gonna outsource these help centers? Like it's airlines and then, what's the next thing that we're gonna outsource? Like, like the suicide hotline? <laughs> you, you call up a guy, it's a guy in India, you call him up and you're like, yeah, I'm not feeling too good. I'm in a dark place. I think I'm gonna kill myself. The guy's like, have you tried using a different browser? <laughs> you know what, you're right. Firefox was making me want to kill myself, so that's really, that actually worked. Um, I go to a lot of uh, Dominican birthday parties. Yeah, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. I don't get invited, I just go to a lot of parks during the day. I was like walking to the park, I was like, is that Spider-Man over there? What the fuck? <laughs> is that Dora and Spider-Man dancing with each other? That's insane. That looks like so much fun. Here, here's my favorite part about that joke. In Texas, I don't, I use Mexican. And 
it still works. And then I did, I was doing, I was doing. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. All right. And then I did that, I did that joke recently and some guy took me, pulled me aside. He was like, no, 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 up here, Dominican. And I was like, all right, thank you. Noted. Noted. Um, all right, so I don't know. Some people think we might go to, that's a weird segue, but some people think, they think we might go to war with China. And uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna speak to that. I'm not gonna speak to that. That's gonna be a pretty awkward phone call when we call them up and we're like, hey, can you make like three million uniforms? <laughs> no reason at all, just make the... Don't worry about it, we all saw Top Gun. We're really excited about it, we're having a Top Gun party. <laughs> we're having a Top Gun party. You're invited, kinda, I guess. I love, um, I love YouTube, and that's the whole thing there. <laughs> no, no, I love YouTube, and I love, there's a, there's a type of video you probably have all seen, it's the try not to laugh videos. Those are fun, right? And I was just perusing through, and, um, I saw one, I was like, try not to laugh, this is fun. Usually it's like four hours of like fat people falling or something. And I clicked on it and it was just footage of 9-11. I was like, what the fuck YouTube? That's... I kind of miss old YouTube though. Like you guys remember like 2007 YouTube where it was just mean? Where the video would just be something like, you know, something harmless like a dog playing in a sprinkler and the top comment is just, you're fat. <laughs> the person's not even in the video, it's just, it was a mean place, it was just horrible. I was, um, I was in an Uber, have you ever noticed like if you're taking an Uber or a Lyft, they always have stuff hanging from the rear view mirror, and in, a lot of time it's a dream catcher. I think it's broken. I think that's... I always can gauge how many Uber drivers are here based on how that one goes. I, um, I like that phrase, uh, love is love. Love is love is a great phrase. And, um, but if you, use it for a, if you use it for a straight couple, it's just kind of mean. Like, hey, did you see Phil was dating Alexa? Love is love, I guess. I don't know. It's... Yeah, if he likes her, it's fine. I'm on the, uh, the old uh, dating apps, and those, uh, those are interesting. The, the, um, some of my favorite profiles to see are like the crazy ones, where it's like a, you know, like the picture of a woman's face like, from up here, so you're like, okay, so she's big, and then the, bi the bio. But the... This, fat people love this angle because everything hangs. <laughs> everything hangs down. You're like, oh, this is, I look good today. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody's eight feet tall. That's perfect. You just look down at you. Um, but yeah, no, it, you're, like sometimes you see a profile, uh, like the bio, and it's like, I have three kids, no hookups. Who's that for, really? <laughs> Someone who's like, yes, I want a family now and don't touch me, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I've actually, I've been watching a, a lot of prison breaks, so I've taken a, a new approach to dating called the prison yard approach. That's where I walk up to the biggest girl in the bar and I punch her right in the face. <laughs> really tough in Albany, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you guys have been great. I'll leave you on this. I, uh, in high school, we had to uh, read a lot of books, and uh, one of the books that we had to read was uh, Huckleberry Finn. And I had a teacher who would read that book out loud in class with a lot of emotion and s would say all the words, including that one. It was really uncomfortable. The fucked up part is it was my math teacher, so I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> and I was homeschooled, so it was really weird. Uh, anyway, you guys have been great. You guys ready to keep this thing going? Thank you. Bye.
One more time for Nick Roach, everybody!